So if you are working with a Docker, Kubernetes or even Linux servers, then it's a great thing to step up the security on your system. And one of the great way of having high security is implement and fine tune the IP table, which is very common firewall on Linux system. So this is exactly what we are going to talk on this episode. So in our previous video, we have done a deep dive into the IP table and NetFilter architecture. So in this video, we will be experimenting with popular IP tables. And for the sake of this particular demo, we will use Ubuntu system for setting up the rules and we will have Kali Linux where we will be generating traffic to test those rules. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you have learned something new. Alright, so let's get into today's hands-on demo. Before we begin setting up the rules, let's see how, how the current IP table look like. So I am on the Ubuntu machine where I will be doing today's hands-on demo. First, let's review the rules we have set up on the IP table on this computer. To do this, I can use sudo IP tables hyphen L hyphen V hyphen N. So remember, all the IP table commands must run with a root privilege. So you need to log in as a root or use sudo to gain the root shell. So the hyphen L command lists the all the rules. It is always in the capital and hyphen n displays the numeric format and v is a verb so that we can get much information as possible. So we can see there are three sections listed and with uh, no entries uh, on each one. So the default chain policy is accept. As I mentioned in our previous video, the filter table has three chains, the input, forward and the output chains and there are no rules in each chains at this moment. So we can look some more IP table commands here to see. So if I, if I don't mention any uh, if I don't mention the flag for the table, that is uh, hyphen T. Then the default would be a filter table. So if, if I want to see any other table besides uh, filter table, then I need to mention the table name with hyphen T. So I want to see net tables. Then let's suppose that I want to list the rules. Then I can see the uh, net table. So Again, in the previous video, we have mentioned that near tables has four chains, the pre-routing, input, output and post-routing. And finally, I will show you one more important command before I move um, the demo uh, lab setup. So that would be uh, sudo ip tables hyphen hyphen line numbers. Let's say L. It shows the line number. Okay. Now let's make a test environment before implementing any IP table rules. So for, for this particular hands-on, so we have spin up an Ubuntu and a Kali Linux. So on Ubuntu machine, I will use a basic netcat command to open a service. So the command would be nc-l followed the port numbers. I'm, I'm using double two double two. So the port is open. So before I do that, let me check the IP address of this machine. So I have an IP address of 192.168.250 that would be my address and I will go back to the Kali uh, to connect to the Ubuntu listener port uh, by setting up a sender and send some text over there so the command on the Kali would be nc you can put port number 2222 and you can send some text we can see that same text appeared on Ubuntu. I'll press Ctrl C to terminate the sessions. All right, so now we are going to set up a, a basic firewall rules using IP tables. So we will be working uh, with input chain since that would be funneling the input traffic uh, we'll be sending through. So we'll set up a rule to block anything, uh, anything from Kali. So for that, I will use IP table in all the IP table commands start with IP tables hyphen a then I'm going to funnel the input chain here so then hyphen s the then the IP address of the Kali Linux hyphen j drop oh, permission denied so you need to use sudo for any IP table commands so, so we know that so now let's let's go ahead and test these rules we'll open the listener port with the netcat command here so nc hyphen hyphen l2 then i'll go back to the kali system and let's run the same command on the kali then say put hello world uh, let's switch let's switch back to the um, ubuntu machine now nothing is displayed on ubuntu 
uh, that means that the message has been dropped rule is really working and uh, you know the, so the whatever traffic coming from the IP address is being dropped by the input chain all right so IP table also allow us to block connection based on the requested port numbers so so the command would be uh, sudo IP tables hyphen R input I'm going to hyphen s 192.168.0.245 hyphen p tcp hyphen hyphen d port double two double two hyphen g drop uh, let's check the if the rule is applied so we can put sudo ip tables hyphen hyphen line number l so you can see that we have a rule uh, on the input chain just remember that hyphen r is command stands for replace um, so if let's say if you want if you already have a rules then if you want to replace then then you can probably use r instead of a which is append let's set up the net center and uh, and listener once again i'm going to open a port 2222 on my window side then i will have kali uh, on the Kali side, we'll enter the command hello world uh, Ubuntu, and we don't see any message appears. That means it is getting filtered. Thing will change the port number instead of 222, we'll port 22223. And let's open a establish a connection on this port hello world. that would appears on the ubuntu side so that means we have filter in place only for uh, 2222 so let's look another use case here where we want to make additional rules to log the traffic so for example we'll use ip table again i want to call input chain then sourcing from 192 168.0.245 protocol tcp and the port number is from ssh so i can use either ssh or port number 22 doesn't matter j instead of drop we'll use log here this time and we can also additional keyword like we want to capture the logs with a particular keyword let's say log prefix so i want to use ssh from Kali so that's a keyword I'm going to use it's a long command but um, it's uh, you can see the uh, particular keyword on that uh, results so let's check IP table hyphen hyphen L so so we can see the second rule is added which is log rules now let's go back to the uh, before you check then let's check where these logs will be stored so Usually the logs will be stored in var log directory under this syslog file. You can see huge uh, logs currently available, but uh, you can grab uh, the particular keyword. So for, for us, the rules, you can see what rule we have added the rules for the keyword so we can use ssh from kali so you can grab particular rules like grab ssh from kali then var slash log slash syslog currently we don't see any logs let's go into the um, kali system again and check if we can generate a traffic so I'm going to generate a traffic. So um, I have logged in from Kali to Ubuntu. So that is an SSH traffic. Let's check the logs again. We can see a huge logs is generated. So let's look one of the log here. So it says you have you have a traffic from source address two four five destined to two fifty. Uh, this is toss bit. This is the time to leave parameters 
and the important parameter is protocol is TCP and the source port which is a random port and the destination port is 22 which is SSH port and the window size and all those things so technology number so this is how you can get the record of the logs um, so this is helpful when you let's say if you want to see whether the traffic is hitting the firewall then check the logs first then if it is not um, the, if it is considered as unwanted traffic then you can probably put a filter in then block those traffic and take necessary action accordingly all right uh, as you all know we can customize ip table in various ways so it has a wide variety of options to fine tune to meet your business requirement I'll walk through a few important uh, use case here. So earlier we have used hyphen s option to specify the source IP address. Similarly, you can use hyphen s for mentioning the source network, and we can also use hyphen d for the destination network. D for the destination networks. So let's say if I want to allow any net traffic from 10.00. So it should be small d so okay so we got um, ip tables hyphen so we have the third rule which is uh, accepting any traffic from 10.00 uh, uh, network right and we can use a hyphen m flag to set the condition that traffic need to match sometime it can be a protocol or it can be a state in order to meet the state uh, matching rules we can also need add um, um, hyphen state and mention the state so for example so i'm going to give uh, ip tables a input m the flag would be m then you can give a state then mention this state name invalid what action you want to take you want to drop the traffic sorry there's a typo here ip tables so let's check ip tables again we have the fourth rule added if if the state is invalid then it will be dropped so there can be any state like there are four state in the ip tables it's called new if the traffic is new that have been associated before then you can take action um, as a, a new traffic then you can see if it is new you want to accept apt this works so if any if, if, the, if the traffic is new it will accept then there are other keywords like established and related uh, these are helpful for the two-way communication like ftp we can also use filter protocol flag from the ip table so uh, examples would be ip tables hyphen a input p tcp hyphen m tcp then you can mention the tcp flag so here i'm going to mention fin sin fin sin and hyphen j drop so here what it says is so if the flag is either sin or fin finish one then the traffic will be dropped so you can make more conditional statements and uh, you can fine tune the ip table so that it can be it can act as a powerful uh, firewalls so finally we have uh, uh, if you have more more than one interface on the system and we want to specify uh, i so i would be you can you know so share ip tables hyphen a input hyphen i then you can you can you can mention it should be capitalized yep then you can mention the port number so i am going to mention as os3 then j accept cannot use i think it's small i so you can use tables okay, so 
So let's verify the rules here. Yep, so you can see that in you know, accept connections. All right, by default, the rules that we added into the IP tables are FML. That means that when you restart your server, your IP table rules will be gone. So to permanently saving the IP tables on Ubuntu machine, there are a few ways, but the easiest approach would be uh, using the IP tables command, IP tables save command, then you can mention the file name where you want to save or you can just keep it without uh, giving the command uh, without giving the file name so usually it's, it's always recommend to give the file name so that you know uh, we can restore those rules from those files so just let's quickly um, go to that file and see if that is stored so we can see that our rules has been um, stored on these files and uh, we can see this there are net tables then we got a filter table here then we have all the rules inside the filter tables uh, similarly the the process of restoring the rules is very easy you only need to specify the path to the file like uh, in the following uh, commands like you know we can give um, instead of say we can put restore then you will be uh, yep yeah. so you can give the command like this so that it can restore the um, IP tables back if, if in case you lose the command in case you if you lose IP tables finally uh, deleting the IP tables rules so let's let's say they want to clean up and remove some rules currently placed and um, so you can use some um, hyphen D option for that so let's say that IP table hyphen list uh, let's take it the line number first so I have a couple of rules here so I want, I want to check the line numbers and delete let's say I want to delete rule number seven so the command would be IP tables hyphen D then the chain then give the number so I'm giving seven so rule number seven will be deleted yes the rule number seven is deleted so similarly rule six uh, also deleted then once it is done we can save these files uh, for the persistence so in this video we talked about uh, creating and modifying the firewall rules we have seen how to test the IP tables and this is a good starting point to develop a firewall that address your needs and secure your networks. I hope this is informative. Thanks for watching and see you next time.